Let me sit back a little bit. Hi, happy 2024. I am sitting outside of my Pilates class. I'm a little bit early. What a, what a way to end the year. I did absolutely nothing. I spent some time with family. I woke up every morning and thought to myself, what do you want to do today? I feel like that was a nice reminder of what being present feels like. You know what I also am happy that I did around New Year's was I feel like I spent the entire beginning half of December and like November just like in a panic. I took so much time to do what I always do, which is just like journal it out and plan and plot and scheme and say, where do I want to grow? And what are the steps that I'm going to take in order to do that? And where am I, where's my aligned action at? Like I did all of that stuff throughout 2023 and especially like at the end of 2023. So I didn't feel pressed the week of New Year's or on New Year's Eve or even on the first to like sit there and fucking journal everything out. Cause everything was clear. And granted, I'm like being a little bit harsh on myself because obviously like moves were made in 2023 and I'm very proud of the progress and the things that I accomplished in that year. But like I surely journaled a lot more than like taking action. And this year I'm planning on taking much more action. And I don't have any regrets about how I spent the last year because it laid a foundation and help me get shit real clear and start planting the seeds for projects that I'm really excited to creatively dive into that are in like areas that are super new for me and now I just feel ready to dive right in. A part of that I will say is placing a much larger focus on my habits. I know everybody and their mother I feel like read the book Atomic Habits in the last year. I still have not read it but I did get it as a gift for my stepsister which I did clue her in on. I was like <laughs> I've been wanting to read this and that book is next on my list. Right now I'm currently reading The Psychology of Money which which is probably one of the best books I have ever read. It's been recommended so many different times and I finally was like, fuck it, let's read this book. And I could go on an entire diatribe about why I'm obsessed with this book. I'm like probably three chapters until the end of the book. And so I feel like once I finish, I'll do like a little recap on here and talk to you guys about it because I really think it's such a powerful tool book. It is such a good thought starter, like just for conversation. It's just, it's so interesting. So I'll talk about it a million times over. But anyway, that book does talk a lot about habits and the psychology of our habits. Habits. And so I'm really excited to dive into atomic habits and just think about the ways for me to like optimize my time in terms of habit stacking and doing all that stuff, which I've started to do, but also just starting to move in this way that I feel like we've heard a lot on the internet lately of who do you want to be? What's the person that you want to become? What is like the successful version, most aligned version of you? And what are they doing? What do they, what does their day to day look like? What habits are they doing? What routines do they have? Start implementing those now. And so I'm really thinking about that. I'm really thinking about the amount of time spent because I feel like 2023 flew by. Also, sorry if this is like really loud. It's just like cold. Okay, it's cold. Not that I want to slow time, but I just want to be, I want to be more present. And I think a part of that is being extremely mindful of how I'm using my time. And so that's why I'm excited about this whole like habit idea. Because for me, I'm not looking at it so much as a way to like expedite and do more, even though that is probably gonna come from it. And I am excited about that piece of it, but I really am looking at it as a way of time is my most valuable currency, my time and my energy. And so I really want to pay attention to how I'm spending that time and making sure that, I don't know, I'm moving through my days in a way that's productive. And again, I don't mean productivity in a way that ignores rest because rest is extremely productive and restorative and we need it in order to bloom and flourish and grow. Not like good stuff. Anyway, I need to go do this workout class, which by the way, like I've been going to this fucking Pilates class for a while and I love it, but they normally do full body sculpt classes and I don't know what the fuck got into them. It's, it's a weekend to 2024. This is fucking criminal. And they've decided to switch the schedule. I don't know if they're going to do this forever or it's just like a little challenge that they're trying to be like, haha, morons but it's working because I bought the classes I'm so sorry I feel like I'm chewing my gum in a really annoying way I always get really upset at my sister the way that she chews gum and I feel like I'm chewing my gum like her in this exact moment so my deepest apology but anyway the classes are now sectioned off by fucking body part so I yesterday or no two days ago I took a 50 minute lower body class I haven't been able to walk in two fucking days sitting down on the toilet when I have to pee the grunt that comes out of my body as if I'm like a fucking 95 year old man is astonishing so anyway today's upper body and abs so say a little prayer super excited about it I need to shut the fuck up so I can go sweat I'll see you after
TikTok Friday. That is the sound of our TikTok Friday. If you guys don't follow our podcast called Thoughts May Vary, and every Friday we do something called TikTok Friday, I just post hilarious fucking TikToks on the story. Oh my God, every single one is us. This lighting is awful. <laughs> Me texting Gabby. <laughs> If you put a mirror there, I'm gonna send you a photo of myself peeing. I'm selling that mirror and so I put it in the bathroom because I wanted it out of the fucking way, but it's in front of the toilet. I don't know, I explore and find new things every day. Great mirror to look at your vagina in. So. That's, what, that's what I'm saying. So I found a new store that I love What's for called? everyone to know. It's called High Tide. So I have a new composition notebook. This is my computer case now. Wait, I love that. Can you sit link me? Yes. Good morning, Saturday, 8.52. Today, we are going to a little brunch at my friend Dana's house. I feel like it's difficult to be able to get the whole gang in a room together, everyone's just so busy. Meadow's in town, so we thought, perfect, perfect occasion. Every morning. Oh, you know what I've started adding into my AG1? These bad boys. Cheers. I do want to go work from a coffee shop today because I have to write an article and my week is kind of busy and so I'd rather just get this over with whenever I have to write. It just like takes up so much of my brain space just like thinking about it and being stressed about it and then like actually having to do it that I'd just rather do it on a Saturday and I also want to go take my camera to get fixed because it's literally being held together by tape. <laughs> The little screws for the viewfinder popped right out. Actually, fun fact, when I decided I wanted to start a YouTube channel, Maddie. Five second rule. When I decided I wanted to start a YouTube channel, Maddie, who a lot of you know and love, actually gave me her old camera. Cause she was about to get a new one and she was like, hey, here you go. It's kind of broken, do you mind? And I said, no, not at all. This is so generous. The viewfinder was already like flimsy and broken. And now it's just next level. I gotta get dressed. But I wanted to show you my outfit because my outfit, what I slept in. I've been on the hunt for really good loungewear because I'm just always in sweats when I'm home and I'm not feeling cute. Also, can you see? The There's the tape. This waffle set that's so cute and comfortable. It's amazing. I'm so comfy cozy. I want to get this in like every single color. Okay, if I don't shut the fuck up, I'm gonna be late. Oh, all the so greenery. Cozy. Oh, you changed this, the office bit. Yeah, I moved Did you my office. Did you bring up the lights up if you want it to? Wow. Oh my God, how the fuck did I miss what this <laughs> over here? Oh, you didn't see this yes. yet? Yes, this is art that my aunt got Trevor. Can I post this on the internet? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, I love it. You guys, we did a great job. We did do a great job. Okay, but riddle me this. Is that in there because it's gonna stink? Or should we put the dough? No, it was just me. Oh, we absolutely should. Wow. So now this is going in Riley's, and it'll be the sisterhood of the traveling. Oh my god. That is so freaking Topper. How cute are these flowers that I got to take home from Dana's house? These little thorns are so interesting. Look at these. Focus on this, not me. There. Look how cool these are. Like little silver thorns or something. I want to put them in this beautiful vessel from Papa Pong, my favorite vintage design store here in Los Angeles. I'm gonna put this inside of this and see if that fits. There we go. That's like the trick to these vases is just, you put like, sorry, please don't look at my dirty dishes. You put another cup with water inside of this. So that first of all, the water doesn't damage this. And second of all, it's nice and retained with like a tighter mouth area, whatever this is called. Where shall we put this? You're coming here, but this table is so fucking wobbly. It's so annoying. Also, how cute is this? I did this for my boyfriend's birthday. as like one of his little cute little gifts. I said I was gonna go work from a coffee shop, but <laughs> turns out I'm not. Can I just say that today has been an incredible day. Hold on, I'm getting. I'm getting comfy, which by the way, I have a Stanley cup now. I am a Stanley girl, I'm a Stanley woman, and I sure am proud. Also, I feel like a watermelon today. This is a sweater, I think it's from Zara, that I've had since I was living in New York. Dare I say when I was in college, which means a while. I was talking about one of the major things that I'm thinking about is time management and how I'm spending my time and ways to be more productive with my time just so that my rest is even more restorative. I feel like that's been the disconnect for me in the past is like trying to be hyper productive with my hours in order to just get more done, which again, like is one of the points, but I'm also reframing it as to that my rest time is even more restorative because I'm not thinking about all the things that I 
I should have done because I know that during those hours of work, I was as productive as can be. A little reframe for my brain in 2024. Just to break it down for you, the buckets of my career are kind of a lot, which is like very normal these days, but they require different parts of my brain. That said, I'm trying to rethink and restructure the ways in which I plan my days. I would love for any of you who feel like you have great time management skills or like tips and tricks that you use or even different programs that you use just to stay on top of your time management like let me know in the comments below please because i'm always this is like something that i love talking to my friends about i just am really interested in hearing how people structure and manage their days keeping in mind that i need to take it all with a grain of salt because everyone is so individual and everyone's brains work very individually i am frustrated it got to a point that i've just had enough in terms of sitting down at my computer all day and feeling like a chicken with my head cut off trying to decide every single day what i was going to do because obviously every day looks different and new things are being signed there's a ton of moving parts that need my attention that sort of anxiety coupled with me having the freedom to decide what to do in every moment lended itself to just me being paralyzed and not doing anything and that is really frustrating when you're trying to move the needle and you're also part of a team that you're leading thus the need for a change and shift in time management and strategy in the new year so what i'm starting off to do right now well not right now i did this last week i sat down and i actually wrote out and i actually assigned how many hours does it take me to do all of these things and how long do i want to be spending on those tasks that's also the key because there's certain pieces of my career that I'm wanting to scale back a little bit on, pump the gears on other parts. And so that's also gonna have to have a renegotiation of hours. Taking my goals and breaking them into quarters, I mapped out Q1, Q2 goals. Then from there, I broke those goals down into week by week situation. But I just want every goal to have action steps under it. That way we're not getting lost in the sauce and going back and being like, oh yeah, I forgot that we wanted to accomplish that, but then we never did it and we never took any steps to get towards it, which can happen and has happened a lot. And it's also just a way of holding myself accountable. I know that at least for myself, when I make up deadlines and there isn't an immediate cost for not meeting that deadline, I can do that and I'll just... Nope, I'll push it a little further and a little further and I keep scooching and scooching and scooching. And sometimes it just like never gets done and I'm over it. So anyway, I feel like I just really thought out loud and I don't know how helpful that was. I want to show you my new calendar. Mm, let me show you. Okay, welcome to my office. I got this off Etsy. I will link it down below. I want you to see the calendar. But I don't want you to see <laughs> what's on it because right now there's just like birthdays and travel and I feel like we don't want to see where I'm traveling. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm really, but I'm really excited about that calendar. I just, I'm such a visual person and I like being able to see everything sort of laid out there. I've been going to an office lately. I got a membership at a workspace that I think is really gonna be a game changer for me. I've only been there a couple of times because I got it right at the end of the year. So I haven't used it a ton, but I'm actually going tomorrow with my friend Sarah. Oh, and my friend Maddie's coming. You guys should check out her app. Her app is name is Camber and it's Maddie Mayo's app. She's one half of OK Sis. Anyway, the point is I got this membership because I need to get the fuck out of my house. I really wanted to take a walk, but my stomach is feeling so weird that like I'm scared. Anyway, I know you super wanted to know that. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you all are having an incredible start to your new year. I wish you nothing but abundance and blessings and joy and amazing memories to be made for this next upcoming year and health, health is wealth. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, bye.